with veterans. The House rejected a bill that would allow veterans to talk about the pros and cons of medicinal marijuana with their doctors. Republican Congressman Andy Harris is a doctor and he says the verdict's still out when it comes to the benefits of pot. Barack Obama's presidential library will be erected in Chicago. The Windy City beat out proposals by New York and Hawaii to host the facility. Meanwhile, the commander-in-chief uh, drew a few laughs yesterday when he was interrupted by a sixth grader for perhaps talking a little too much. Listen, uh, even the best writers, usually it's not that good the first time they write it. Yeah, and I think you sort of covered everything about that question. Okay, you think, I, you think I'm just going <laughs> to... Yeah, he has it covered. The president told students their success will depend on whether they love reading and learning. A little short on the intention span, maybe, just a tad. And quarterback uh, Jameis Winston will continue to play football in the Sunshine State. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers took the former Seminole with the first pick in the 2015 NFL Draft. The 21-year-old won the Heisman Trophy back in 2013. All right, we talked a lot about 2016 this week, but there's another pivotal election much closer, at least when you look at the calendar. The UK elections are less than a week away now. So here with us to explain how these elections across the pond imp impact us here in the colonies, Newsmax Editor-in-Chief Ken Chandler. Ken, great to have you with us. Hey, John, good to be with you, and congratulations to you and Miranda on the new show. Oh, thanks, we're having fun. Let's talk about the main players in the race. The final debate taking place last night, you have David Cameron, the leader of the business-friendly Tories, the Conservative Party. We have Ed Miliband, the Labor Party leader. He's hoping to return his party to power, but facing a lot of questions about uh, the fiscal goes they had last time, fiscal woes, I should say, they had last time around. And lastly, out of the three in the debate last night is Nick Clegg, leader of the Liberal Democrats. And uh, let's talk about these three. They, they were the main on, uh, attraction on the stage last night and interesting to hear them have to answer questions from the public at large. What is the biggest issue uh, that they are talking about that's gonna drive this election? Well, there's two big issues and it's not unlike uh, this country. Uh, the economy is, uh, is number one and immigration is number two. Uh, the conservatives took power uh, four years ago after the big crash. Uh, they've done a good job rebuilding the British economy, but a lot of British people don't feel better off. Uh, they still feel poor, and that's a big issue in this election. And we'll highlight that in, in one of the questions. We'll play that in a second from the a question time session last night. But let's also talk about this guy, Nigel Farage. He is a leader of the UK Independence Party and also serves in the EU. But he is being compared uh, to a leader of a, like a Tea Party here in the US. In what ways are they similar? Uh, well, Nigel Farage is, uh, represents this party that's kind of come from nowhere uh, to be relatively influential. They're very much anti the European Union. And the problem with the European Union is that you have free movement of people from one country to the other. So, for instance, you have these refugees that have come across from Libya. Uh, chances are they're going to head straight to the UK. Why? Because the UK has much laxer uh, regulations when it comes to getting on welfare. You can get benefits much quicker in Britain than you can in other European countries. So that is, that is also a big issue with this election. All right, we want to play that clip. I think we have it available from the question time session, as they call it, the uh, round table or the, I guess we can call it a town hall event. Let's take a listen. Our economy was nothing like Greece's, and it, and it insults everyone's intelligence to compare the economy of this country to Greece. You, you, you're not that stupid. No, I don't. No, I, I, that was Nick Clegg taking the question there. And if just for pure sport, Ken, I think it's worth it for Americans to tune into this race and see how the, they handle things. It makes our political rhetoric look tame, does it not? It's, uh, it certainly does. They're very direct. They're very forthright. Nick Clegg is the leader of the Liberal Democrats. They were the third largest party. They formed a coalition with the Conservatives. They've been in government for four years. They got <coughs> Excuse a, me. We can but unfortunately... We got to run. I'm sorry we're out of time, but that was a great conversation. We'll check in with you next week as well to get an update.